Hello everyone. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why digitalis is used in cardiac failure. Most of us would have read digitalis in the treatment of cardiac failure. But what is the mechanism of action of digitalis? That's what we are going to understand today. And many of us know that digitalis is increasing the calcium intracellularly. But most of us doesn't know that it is not directly acting on the calcium channel itself. So what is the channel on which it acts? Let's try to understand. Digitalis actually it's used in cardiac failure is because it blocks the sodium potassium ATPase pump. It does not affect the calcium pump directly. Then how is intracellular calcium increase? Let's try to understand. See the diagram here. Suppose this is a sodium potassium pump. What is the function of sodium potassium pump? It is going to pump out the sodium and pump in the potassium. And there is one more pump which is acting in the cardiac muscle which is called as sodium calcium exchanger and this pump what it does is the intracellular calcium after the contraction of the cardiac muscle it has to be wiped out all of us know one another pump which does this function that is circa yes very good this is the pump which sends the intracellular calcium back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum but there is another channel which is acting also to send the calcium inside that is sodium calcium exchanger this is also very very important channel now what the digitalis is doing Digitalis is blocking this sodium potassium ATPase pump. So, but how does it help? So, whenever sodium is blocked, what will happen? The sodium is going to accumulate inside. Since there is already sodium inside, the activity of sodium calcium exchanger is going to come down. Since already there is intracellular sodium more and more. So, this pump will say that there is no need of excess intracellular sodium. So, which is going to stay inside? The calcium which is thrown out this pump, now it is going to stay inside. This leads to accumulation of intracellular calcium. So there is more calcium available, so it is going to increase the force of contraction. This increase in force of contraction is also called as positive ionotropic effect. This is how the calcium is increased intracellularly with the help of digitalis. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. If you like the video, share it to your friends. Thank you so much.